What's up guys, my name is Juan and you're watching my channel Blueprint PC. Today's video is the helpful video to try to get all you beginner builders, first time builders, maybe first time AMD builders, a helpful hand along the way. If you're having trouble with the Wraith Prism Cooler, which is the big boy with the heat pipes and the RGB, I'm gonna try to help you out today. So long story short, it either comes with the Ryzen 9 or the Ryzen 7. It's the cooler that just clips right onto the brackets, but it can be a little bit difficult and you might have to just kind of force it a little bit here, but we're gonna get into that. Before we do, real quick, if you like tech news, reviews, how-to videos, hardware stuff, and anything game related, please hit that subscribe button and we'll show you some more. So let's go ahead, let's jump into it and install this guy. Alrighty guys, got it set up here. Uh, motherboard, processor already installed. So basic overview of the quick start. One, when you get your cooler brand new in the box, it will have thermal paste pre-applied, so you won't need to do that yourself and just be aware of it so you don't smudge it or hit it on something, then you'll create a mess. Motherboard, real quick here. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna install this on these two brackets right here. It's gonna hook onto the tabs on the top and the bottom. That's simple, so if you've accidentally or maybe thought you needed to remove these, go ahead and reinstall them again, make sure they're snug and in their proper location, and you'll be good to go because again, this is what this is getting anchored onto. So with the motherboard on a sturdy surface that you're comfortable with, something not too hard, but you know, again, not too soft. Go ahead and take your pro your processor, your cooler, and you're gonna notice you've got two tabs on each side. One side just has the basic tab. The other side has a tab with a lever. You want, when you're looking at it, you want the lever to be folded to your left. So it wants to be folded to your left side. And the reason being is because when this lever is folded to the other direction, it actually pulls up on the tab. So what happens there, as once it's installed and you fold it over, it pulls on the outsides, which pushes down in the middle and presses onto the processor, which makes good contact and allows it to cool pretty well. This little fan cable here, what you can do is you can also just run it through the heat pipes and just pull it up out of your way so it's not dangling around when you're trying to do it and already creating more of a problem for you. Just make sure when you route it really quick, it's not going across any of these arms here because it'll be in your way. So, and just so you know too, the side without the lever should go down, with the lever should go up. If you install it backwards, that's fine. It's not gonna hurt anything. The only difference is, is lever side up, you can read AMD. Lever side down, you can read it, but it's upside down. So first thing you wanna do, go ahead, take the non-lever side, and you're just gonna tilt it a little bit. Go ahead and get it hooked on the tab at the bottom there. So it's on, it's hooked. You can see, I don't recommend doing this for one, but you can see it's holding it. See, yeah, look at that magic. Then while you've got it tabbed, just grab this arm, pull it out of the way, go ahead and let this rest, and just give yourself a deep breath for a second there if you're nervous about it. And now you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna get pushed down a little bit. You can usually just put your finger on the top of the lever here, just in the center, push down a little bit, and it'll get that arm to hook onto the tab on this side. And then from there, you're just grabbing the lever and folding it over. Don't be afraid to be aggressive with the fold over. It's designed again to be spring loaded. It's gonna take a little bit of force to get it to, to go from one end to the other. You're not gonna hurt anything doing that. Just, you know, as long as everything's installed thus far correctly, folding it over is gonna be fine because then it'll be strong enough to pick up the whole motherboard from the cooler with no issues and it won't move like that. Again, don't be as rough as I am. I'm comfortable with these, so. And then from there, you can just unroute your fan cable that you put out of the way, find your CPU fan header, and then install the little guy. And you're done there. So guys, that's all I have for you today. I was trying to just do a quick, helpful video. Hope you found it helpful. If you did, hit the like button. If you wanna see more stuff like this or even more interesting things with builds and all that fun hoo-ha, go ahead and hit that like subscribe button. But outside of that, I'll catch you in the next one.